In this demonstration, we're going to show how light responds to various lenses of different surface geometries and focal points. For example, the lens that I'm holding in my hand has two surfaces that are curved outward. We refer to this lens as a convex lens. The curvature of the lens dictates how light will be focused upon re-emerging from the other side of the lens. And the normal pr operating procedure of a lens is to shine light from one side and it re-emerges from the other. I have another example of a lens here whose surfaces are curved inward and we refer to this lens as a concave lens. And typically these lenses are referred to as diverging lenses and this example that we'll show will illustrate that point. Okay, in this demonstration I have five incident parallel laser beams that are striking the left surface of this convex lens. And since both surfaces are convex, this will act to bring the beams together at a point known as the focal point. And this is why we refer to this lens as a converging lens. And this focal point is located a certain distance away from the center of the lens. And this distance, I'll mark that distance here. And this distance is referred to as the focal length. The focal length of the lens is directly related to the curvature of the surfaces. So the curvature of the surfaces we characterize by the radius of curvature and this is what determines the focal length of the, of the lens. So here I've replaced the previous converging lens with one whose sides are more curved. And a converging lens with more curved surfaces will have a smaller radius of curvature. And a smaller radius of curvature implies that its focal length will be shortened. So when I shine five incident laser beams on this converging lens, you can see that the focal length has been moved to this point. So we have compared two focal lengths of two different converging lenses. We have the converging lens here whose surfaces are much more curved than this one. And the lens with the more curved surfaces produces a focal length here. And this focal point corresponds to this lens. Now, and comparing the surfaces, you can see since this surface is less curved, it has a larger radii of curvature, and a larger radius of curvature implies a much larger focal length. And for this lens, consequently, it has much smaller radii of curvature, and a smaller radii of curvature corresponds to a much shorter focal length. So now I've replaced the converging lens with a diverging lens whose both opposing surfaces are concave lenses, uh, lenses. And again, the five laser beams are parallel, but upon re-emerging from the other surface of the lens, you see that the, the beams are not brought together, but spread out in different di directions. And in fact, on the right side of the, the diverging lens, they will never meet. They all emerge in different angles away from the surface. 